Hello there. Now, if there's one thing I like just as much as these dioramas, which I've been creating over the past few weeks, the top two are new, the bottom one is old. The Tantive and Mock Isley, you can find instructions for Unrebrickable if you own the UCS set or the recent Tantive playset. And of course, let me know if you want to see instructions for the top one in the comments below. But today we're looking at a... I guess not quite a minifigure scout ship, but a closer scout to the playset of the Bad Batch shuttle that was released. It's still only one of two Bad Batch Lego sets that we've been getting, that we've got. We don't even have either of them. I'm not sure if the Justifier is still available. I think that might have retired last year. But Bad Batch shuttle is one of them. The Justifier for Season 2. And for Season 3, we're yet to get any sets. These two both went on sale around about when the season was i know the bad batch shuttle was sort of the end of the year of the first season so i guess perhaps in september time we'll get another set around one of the bad batch episodes perhaps the finale it'd be great to get a dark disciple asage which we have seen in the trailer hopefully she gets revealed soon of course i haven't watched today's episode so there are no spoilers for it but i have watched all the others I don't think there'll be any spoilers in this episode because we're taking the Bad Batch Shuttle playset, which is here. It's slightly modified. The exterior isn't as modified as you'd expect, but the interior is modified to fit not only all the batch, but also just have a bit more room than they did have, which you could fit the four Bad Batch members that come with a set. We hadn't got Omega at this point. Omega came in the Justifier and Crosshair was on his whole villain arc for two series so he actually came on a bike which i have made minifigure scale this is part of wave is this part of wave one i don't i don't think the colors were part of wave one but i have made this minifigure scale that is a bulk speeder on my rubricable as part of a whole wave of speeders there is another wave coming very soon i think i've only done one wave perhaps i can whack this in the second wave it's only a recolored bulk speeder so be sure to check that out if you did want to build it and sit your crosshair on it for display but if you do want the instructions or at least a more in-depth video to what i've done to make this bad batch shuttle how it is in today's video do let me know in the comments and let me know by leaving a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more awesome lego content and now it's time to take a look at the shuttle so before we get into looking at the interior I would like to say it is the regular clone bark speeder that I have put in my speeders collection and there will be a second one very soon so I will add the recoloration as sort of a bonus sixth speeder I guess for the second wave. Now one thing I did not like as much about the Bad Batch attack shuttle, the Marauder as it's known in the universe, is that when you have this top fin on you can't open the front, you can open it but you can open it barely if at all so you do have to take off the fin just to reveal the front of it i would have loved some sort of because it's only this two by four wedge plate that's actually stopping it so i would have loved for that to have been able to fold to the side and just get the cockpit open but to be fair opening the whole thing isn't really too much of a hassle so i will pull that off to reveal the cockpit and as you can see, we currently have three clones and a gonk. GNK power droid in their power unit, giant battery if you will. And this cockpit can actually fit up to five clones. So you could in fact get Tech and Echo next to Hunter and Crosshair. Of course, Crosshair still sporting his old uniform. I definitely have to pick up some of the... Perhaps even use Wrecker's torso to give him something that looks more like his uniform. But I'd love to get a crosshair and perhaps an updated Omega in a brand new set. And that will give us crosshair's old uniform because he hasn't been able to change it with wear and tear. Perhaps we can get the new batch and I'd just like an updated Omega to fit with the scene. Perhaps we can even get some of the other Imperial members on Tantis or even another wolfie to go with certain scenes so i'd love to get at least one set for this if not there'll be plenty more mocks and other sets coming my way but as you can see the side is quite fragile you can still lift it from the front it's solid at the front but the sides you can't pick up by because as soon as you press on the sides just go in and this has been modified using no extra pieces there is zero extra pieces in this set so I've limited myself quite a bit when it comes to what I can and can't do with the set. Of course, if I had my own pieces, 
there'd just be a bunch of brackets along here what's that three brackets perhaps even a bracket on top here to close in the top and that'd make it sturdy enough and you probably could even put some weight on the sides and of course the figures aren't clipped in because there are well there's just no studs to clip them in for these are sort of resting on the studs to the side but really what you'd want to do is get one of the one by three jumper plates with two studs in the middle because minifigures i'm not sure if you're aware only need three studs of width it's something i've used in a few of my other mock designs and now i can reveal the rest of the shuttle in fact let's piece it back together build a little suspense and when i lift it up you can see that there's even more room in the back and so i've zoomed in just in case you couldn't see it at the last angle but as i said if we move gonki you can definitely fit two more minifigures down the side here in fact gonki i've modified a little bit to try and get a bit more of that minifigure accuracy in the height and all i've done is removed one of the two by threes off the bottom and two of the studs but then pieces haven't been used in the rest of the set so if you wanted to keep gonki the same height you could definitely keep him the same height and fit him in the front then definitely give that a shot we've got space for three helmets in the side here again if i had my own pieces we could probably have enough helmet stands for the five helmets to sit there tech's actually at his computer which if we take off Echo, you could probably get a better look at because I've reused the two sticker pieces from the back of the ship and added the control from the front for Tech's computer. Now, I wanted to add a few more control bits to the front or at least some grey slopes. They don't allow for it, but I've got so many of my own that I make use of pretty much everywhere I can. I can definitely whack a few in on my own now. Tech and Echo's helmet have just been, I guess, just whacked in with them there. There's plenty of space. And there is a fourth minifigure in the back here. I do apologise for the cut on my finger. But hopefully that's not too off-putting. As you can notice, next to Omega, we've got what looks like the piece from Tech's backpack. And that is because it is. Tech's backpack was so large for this set. You can fit Tech with his smaller backpack in the front but the large one just weren't getting in so i can show that off to you in a second but i've taken that piece added a pin with the stud connector to this very long technic beam going at the back here there's still two of them in here to keep the structural integrity of the ship but this piece is actually acting as a z which i bought up in a previous video it looks definitely like a z there's no one else it can look like I'd love to get a printed one by one for the torso of a Z and perhaps include like the little arms and legs printed on it because that is really all Lego need to do give us a printed one by one like with Tex backpack but for a Z so we do have a Z a minifigure scale a Z hanging around in the back here Lego would probably just give us a custom mold like a BD or Toto minifigure if they do give it at all and that is another requirement I would like in this Bad Batch season 3 set so I wouldn't mind a crosshair an Omega, a named clone, an Asajj, and an AZ. I'm not really asking for too much, but as you can see, we can fit even more clones in the back here. In fact, there is enough space. Sorry, I've got a fly flying around, and if you spot it in the intro, I've been trying to capture it for ages, and I just can't get it. But there's enough space in the back here to perhaps take away Tech's computer. It won't be a problem for many, especially if they don't have a hat or a hairpiece, but for characters like Tech with a hairpiece sticking out, or even Omega, you might have to remove the computer, but you can get another six minifigures in the back here. So perhaps I'll show that off in a future video, but I've just removed a bunch of pieces. The crate that was where Echo sat has been moved and is no longer used in here, though you could add it here and add perhaps their weapons instead of their helmets. But I realised quite early on that there is a reason Lego haven't included any of the helmets on the minifigures and... Even Hunter's hair, I don't think they put Hunter's hairpiece on when he's in the vehicle. That might have been a mistake in an image, but they don't include any of the helmets because the helmets add so much extra height to them. If we were to take any of these helmets, you can sort of see with the stud connector on the inside that there's just no chance that the helmet's going to fit on top. And if we are able to close the top of this shuttle, you can see just at the front with the stud connectors that... The shuttle is able to close fully. I have switched up these side bits, actually added a plate on the top here so that it covers any holes I have created. And this side is nice and flush with the rest of the model. So it's 
really nice that there's not really any give in this model and uh, it can shut nice and smooth with all the minifigures in it because well that is the aim of this modification i love the fact we've got text computer there of course the slopes for the controls at the front are quite easy to get your hands on and if you did only want the three minifigures in the front here you can definitely center them and add some more controls on the side perhaps beef it up like it was for some more structural integrity but it does well enough as i said you can pick it up by the front and it doesn't really bend at all and as far as the rest of the model is concerned with the wings and that it's pretty much unchanged i swapped out a few of the pieces on the wing here because i wanted to get that entry hatch so we'll take a look at that and as you can see we've got the doorway here where they enter and leave the shuttle this was originally sort of held up by all the lights and different effects i just clipped some bricks to the bottom side of this wing to save a few of the different technic pieces and hinges used and then use them exact same hinges to get the two lights on here originally i was going to leave them out and put the lights on the side here because there are some lights that come out of the side and shine forward however they're not really used as often i found one scene where they were used and the rest of the lights do come out of here and as we've still got the lights on the wings and everything else that came with this model i felt it best just to include that detail which fits with the rest of the scene so as i said perhaps it's better to look from this angle we can close the shuttle make sure it doesn't get caught on any of these side bits here and it is flush with the rest of the model which is basically just how it shut in the first place there's a little give here perhaps hunter's not leaning back as much as he should have but it makes the cockpit still nice and sleek you've got it built out a little bit more to the side here but i'm really happy with how it came along so that is my modifications for the bad butt shuttle again if you would like a more instruction based video telling you how you can achieve all this extra interior space definitely let me know because i'm very happy we can fit not only the full bad batch also Conky, AZ, Omega, we can really fit everyone and there's definitely space where Echo's helmet is to pick up another clone along the way which means if I can ever get my hands on a Captain Rex which at the minute I'd say I want more than that 330 second airborne trooper which if you don't know is the only one of the new clones that I am missing so that does say a lot I guess I don't really have any of the recent commanders and captains like Rex and Fox that have come out but Hopefully I'll get my hands on them soon. Stay tuned for more awesome Lego content. And I hope you enjoy. Drop a like if you do. And may the bricks be with you. Always. Mm -hmm.